explode and it'll be too late. It'll trickle on the floor and you'll have to take me on a date. You know how much I hate dates. Once you put the hardener in the tractor and implement paint, it has to activate for 30 minutes. So you stir it real good at first and you stir it periodically. We're using these Scotch-Brite pads for in-between coats, and these are working really well. And for the more tough burrs and stuff, we have 800 grit sandpaper. When it comes to painting the bus, most of the work is in the prep. If you've been following along, you know we've done two coats of the rust inhibiting primer and today we are adding a second coat of the tractor and implement paint slash enamel. To tape off the section we aren't painting, I used a really low adhesive duct tape that I got for a discount. It pretty much only sticks to itself and hardly at all to the bus. So our second and final coat of enamel on the hood turned out wonderful. It's very smooth and has a glossy mirror finish. Again, in case you didn't see the other videos, we used Valspar tractor and implement paint with enamel hardener, which helps to speed up the drying time and the corresponding oil-based gray primer. Thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing and watching my videos. We've got a lot of work left to do on her and we'd love to have you around for the journey. I do five videos like this a week updating you on what's going on day to day. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the circle with my face on it and subscribe now. 